यदा संचीयते प्राणो मानसम च प्रतीयते तदा समसत्व समाधि अभिधीयते when ever our prana the breathing because life is nothing but breathing so when our our breathing the pranic energy coming from universe to ourselves becomes vigorless then mind becomes absorbed in prana and when mind becomes absorbed in prana that state of mind is called samadhi and the in other word the meaning of this is that the self becomes one with ultra self when self becomes one with ultra self ultra self takes over and then all the qualities of i disappears when all the qualities of the i is disappears sankalpas the determination cease to exist and when all the determinations of our life cease to exist there is nothing outside of ourselves there is no one no nature everything the whole universe you can experience within you when this situation comes in then it is called samadhi and it is the oneness samadhi is the oneness with the object of meditation all those who are practicing yoga they must be knowing the seventh and eighth limb when meditation becomes permanent and these days some of us just sit down and they say that we are meditating and at the same time your child starts making some noise he starts fighting with his siblings and you become angry and shout at him can't you see i am in meditation friend you are not in meditation if the cry of a child can disturb you if the fight of a child can disturb you if outside world can still disturb you you are sitting in meditation but you are not in meditation you can only become in meditation when you become one with the object of meditation and when this oneness becomes permanent then that meditation is called samadhi and samadhi is the state of realization that nothing is there in the outside world and whatever is there in the outside world is of no importance to you you are completely within yourself the wisdom to realize yourself gets awakened and you only remember one thing that all is source my identification does not exist as long as 
I can identify myself with I. That is ego. The definition of ego itself is, ego is a Latin word. The meaning of ego in English is I. And as long as you can associate and identify yourself with something, I am Medhi, I am so and so. As long as we can do that, we cannot be in Samadhi. That means that ego is, is still present in you. When ego is present, journey is there. You have yet to arrive somewhere. You have yet to go somewhere. You have to reach somewhere. There are goals present in front of you. When there are goal presents in front of you, Samadhi cannot exist. Samadhi can exist only when you are there. When you have arrived and when you are present where you wanted to be present. Samadhi, of course, when you go into details, it is of two basic types also. Savikalpa, Nirvikalpa. Savikalpa, when there is an object of meditation. Nirvikalpa, when there is no object of meditation. Last state of yoga is Samadhi. It's so beautiful, so contented that you lose your identity. You are no more you. You are the object of your meditation. You are that God on which you were meditating. You are that nothing on which you were meditating. How can we reach there? And is Samadhi only known as Samadhi? Are there any other names for it? Samadhi has different names. Buddhists call it differently. Sanatanis call it differently. Yoga people call it differently. Religious and spiritual people call it differently, but it is the same for all of them. And it is known as Raj Yoga. It is known as Unmani. It is known as Manonmani. It is known as Amratva. It is known as Laya. It is known as Tattva. Sunya. Asunya, Paramapad, all are these the name of the same state in which you are able to attain the highest bliss. Question arises, how? How can we do it? You have to prepare for it. Preparation starts for all the limbs of yoga. You should not practice them unless you are in a proper guidance. Physical stage is okay. Physical stage in which we are doing asanas, asanas are very good thing. I am not saying that asanas are not good. There are one thousands asana. And asanas are very good for your physical body. When physical body is strong, then only other practices you can do. But as regards to a strong yoga is concerned, eight limb of yoga, it is 
said that you need to master only one asana for a spiritual development and that you should do in presence of your guru to so salutation to the guru and happiness to everyone and when you go ahead by practicing asanas then pranayamas then pratyaharas then dharanas then meditation and then then samadhi then what happens a beautiful nad appears inside of you a sound which connects you to everywhere in the universe where in your guru your mantra your process your system your own self and your object of meditation all becomes one and when you are devoted completely to the object of your devotion then only the situation arise that you be able to attain the higher bliss and how can you say that in a spirituality let us say what is samadhi according to spirituality have you ever put salt in water or sugar in water all of us must have done it when you put salt in water water becomes salty but salt loses you cannot see salt anymore you cannot see sugar anymore it totally dissolves in water so samadhi is the state when this i totally dissolves in in ultra self okay when mind totally dissolves in soul when there is no more mind and you know mind has two bosses usually everybody has got one boss but mind has two bosses and two bosses of mind are breathing and desires if you have no desire your breathing can become very slow when you can make your breathing very slow all the desires will automatically go away from you you try to do one and other automatically comes in so the real situation in case you want to attain samadhi it can starts only with pranayama and therefore guru teaches you pranayamas guru teaches you various mantras various posters different kind of kumbhaka and he makes your prana to get absorbed in shunya what is shunya shunya we have three nerves ida pingala and susumna ida represents moon coolness pingala represents energy and when there is no energy and when there is no calmness and coolness what remains is zero and that zero is susumna so the journey of samadhi starts when prana enters susumna 
and this act is being performed by first pranayamas and after pranayamas you can start practicing different mudras and when mudras are of three types again one mudras are called hand gesture mudras which are made by hand this is also mudra called namaste but other mudras are made by your prana pranic mudras and when prana starts flowing through susumna that is the state of manon mani manon mani is the same state as you call samadhi so for doing that in yoga first you have to practice the yama niyama in that you have to practice chanting huta and brata how to perform the fire ritual and how to keep fast then you have to practice kumbhaka how to hold your breath then you are ready to perform mudras and for attaining samadhi we start our journey with sambhavi mudra sambhavi mudra is the concentration at a particular point specifically on the object of your meditation that means trataka tratak is the part of sambhavi mudra you need to see at one place to one object without blinking for as much time as possible by doing this over a period of time it doesn't happen tomorrow over a period of time you will be able to perceive shunya and asunya zero and non zero then then you can start you can change your gaze from outside to tip of your nose the moment you bring your gaze to tip of your nose your sambhavi mudra becomes unmani mudra your sambhavi mudra becomes unmani mudra and then from there you move to tarak mudra tarak mudra is calm your mind keep your eyes half open half closed put your gaze here and block your ida and block your pingla put the jalandhar lock and block ida and block your pingla sit without breathing for as much time as you can then the force can take it to susumna when you don't breathe air is a very surprising thing it always tries to find the place to go when you block ida and pingla it tries to search in your root chakra where to go where to go where to go and it finds a little hole called susumna zero and it tries to enter there and that is the moment it enters your job is done then there are other mudras called maha mudra maha vedha maha vedha which you can practice along with it and finally reach to khechari mudra khechari is one in which you twist your tongue 
you are sitting in Siddhasana, your gaze is on your tip of the nose and you put your tongue in opposite direction and touch your palate. Hold your breath. After some times, you will see that you don't need to breathe anymore. You can remain in this position for 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes and depending upon your practice, you can remain in this position for 30 minutes also. And when Khechari Mudra you are able to do, Samadhi is like this for you. So, how can Samadhi be attained? Number one, going to a Guru. Learning the mantra, learning the fire ritual, learning the fasting, learning the kumbhak and after learning the kumbhak, learning different mudras till we are able to attain Khechari Mudra. And when Khechari Mudra comes in, Samadhi becomes easier for you. I hope that all of us which are listening to it will try to make a practice, will try to make a decision to achieve and will go to their gurus, start their process and be able to reach Samadhi. Thank you so much.